Hey guys, today I'm going to talk a little bit about MTG Arena. These messages are just kind of funny little memes for you guys to enjoy. It's not going to be related to today's discussion on MTG Arena. Now Magic the Gathering has to push MTG Arena especially hard. All the people they hire are, are the people who are very positive and feel magic is going the right direction. They're all promoting MTG Arena. MTG Arena beta testers were all given five keys. This is a clear indicator that there is no wait list. Uh, if you have ever been part a beta tester, you know that what should happen is there should be more and more people off the wait list. But here, you gave everyone on the beta five more keys to give to whoever they want to and Magic Arena. Now Magic Arena is totally fine as a free to play or F2P. I spend quite a bit of money on mobile games uh, in Fate Grand Order. I, do, I did not spend money on the JP. I have spent money on the English. So if you don't know that game, there is two editions. The JP is a year or two ahead, probably a year ahead right now from English. And people played the JP, the Japanese version, because it is the most ahead. Now I've spent probably $1,200 on Fate Grand Order Lifetime, uh, the English, and $0 in JP. Fire Emblem Heroes is an interesting scenario where I got my iPad and my iPhone are two different games. It's the same game, but I'm double spending. Now, many of you might question as to what that is, but I really do enjoy the game. And, you know, I, ideally, would it be awesome to have one mega account? Yes, but having two different accounts, which actually have the same characters because I spend on the same banners is quite interesting because one of them gets lucky, the other one does not. So there is some divergence. Uh, obviously, if I spend over $500, the divergence is much smaller because you're just spending money at that point. In Fire Emblem Heroes, I've spent over $2,500 on both. So this is the iPad and iPhone combined. And a lot of it was in these very long sessions where I was paying 500. My worst session was $800 or $600 on the iPad, $200 on the iPhone. Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably closer to $3,000. Uh, $3,000. And then the other game I spend on is Pokemon Go. Uh, Pokemon Go, if you play that game, you understand that there's not any real, you have to walk. And that mitigates your spending. So unlike the other mobile games in Magic Arena, you cannot just keep spending because eventually you run out of stuff to spend on. In Magic Arena, you can keep buying booster packs until, and then whenever a new set comes out, you can buy more booster packs, right? So Magic Arena is very terrible for a whale. The worst nightmare of any whale is they lose their account. Magic Arena has something that none of these other mobile games I play have. They have the ability or they have the willingness to ban you for liking a meme. Uh, the best example I have is actually Travis Wu. He was moderator of a private Facebook group and somebody found out that a post was made. Travis, I truly believe he had no he, he did not know the post was made. Uh, someone, Emma, Emma Hanley, she goes in there, takes a bunch of screenshots, and now everyone's banned. The most egregious, egregious in my opinion, is that Travis gets banned because, again, he yes, he's a moderator, but he's a moderator of so many different magic groups. At that point, a lot of his livelihood was based on Magic the Gathering. He was actually qualified for a pro tour, which I have never been qualified for, and the majority of Magic players would love that experience. So all, all I took was one screenshot from Emma, who, you know, did it very... 
she did it to get him banned, to get the likes. Um, there was no discussion, uh, and that's part of the magic community. Everyone wants you to fail. There's many people like Emma who are, they, uh, I don't want to say they're predators because in this context of the magic judges, that's not the right connotation, but they're setting up uh, entrapment. Okay, I guess that's what it is, I would say. They're setting up these entrapments and obviously you like, oh, hey, I like this little meme. Oh, screenshot, do like the meme, banned. It's like, what just happened here? So I would recommend as a whale to other whales, do not support this game. Uh, and many of you will say, okay, so what? What if whales don't want to play this game? MTG headquarters would probably have been a big whale on this game. He spent over $10,000 on Magic Online. If this game was even better, I could see him spending 20 k two years ago before all this drama happened. I would probably spend, since Magic is my main game, I do spend a lot on Pokemon, uh, buying these codes online, and Magic would have been my main game. I would have spent probably $10,000 in a year. That's not something that would shock me. Uh, you might pick, oh, TG Line, that's a lot of money. Well, it's like a percentage of income, right? That's how you have to kind of view it. And I'm sure if Rudy enjoyed it, he would play Magic Arena, but he might get banned too. He's been saying some pretty uh, crazy stuff about Wizards of the Coast. I'm sure they don't appreciate that. So the problem here is, unlike every other game, your political stance and your political opinions are being monitored, screenshotted, uh, tweeted to Hasbro, and at any time they can take away your very expensive account uh, for unrelated game mechanics. So now, yes, of course, Fire Emblem, Fake Grand Order, uh, when there's a loophole, games go away. That's just how it is, right? The games go, they take away your account, they suspend your account. Uh, if you are playing Pokemon Go and you're just spoofing all over the place, it's not fair to other players. Uh, the same with Fire Emblem, if you are just... Uh, hacking the orb somehow which actually happened in japan then your account should be punished but if you're if you have a political opinion it shouldn't be as easy as having emma screenshot a private facebook group that you didn't post on that you're just a moderator of or you're part of the group honestly being part of the group was uh, that's what travis got hit on and then suddenly you're banned for two years They take away your account that you spend your physical money on this digital asset. And you, you don't really have any recourse because the terms, terms of service are so egregious against you that uh, you're done. I would never advise you to play Magic Arena if you're going to spend money. If you want to do a free to play, go ahead. But just understand that the top 95% of the spend is determined by 5% of the whales. The other 5% of the spend, so out of every $100, $95 is spent by the top 5%. And if Magic doesn't have that top 5% because they either ban Jeremy, they ban the store owner, they ban Rudy, they ban me, they ban all... And it's not just a banning, right? It's the... It's the danger of being banned. That's why I can never play Magic Arena. Like, I'm actually pretty much banned from it. There's no way I can spend money on a game which will ban me for my political views. And if I like a meme. There are plenty of Emmers out there uh, watching me, screenshotting everything I'm saying. And that, I'm not going to pay money into a game where... I spend ten thousand dollars and it's gone because of something on game, unrelated to the game, uh, something outside the game. Uh, just because I have a difficult, different political view than um, people who control Wizards of the Coast, so I absolutely think MTG Arena will fail, and I will continue to make videos on the economics of mobile games because this is something I understand very well. There's a guy who paid, uh, who spent $70,000 on Fate Grand Order. Uh, he's Japanese, and obviously it's a JP version, and he just loves it. Like, I don't have problems spending money on 
supporting. Um, I've made in the past a video. Uh, I guess I'll make a, another video, a heart to heart video. I haven't had one of those in a while. It is in my belief that the older generation with money should support their local game stores. And the reason they need to do this is very simple. It's because someone supported your local game store when you didn't have money. When you were a kid and a booster pack, you can buy like a booster pack a month on allowance money. The store would not survive if every person just bought a booster pack, right? Some people have to buy boxes. Some people have to buy cases. The store has to make money. Otherwise, it would die. And I'm a big proponent of, you know, I spend a lot of money on Pokemon right now. Um, instead of magic, I don't, I mean, outside of the two modern master boxes, which I'm making this video ahead of what I don't know. I just want the Lily contest to be over. Um, so the winner was chosen. It was shipped, uh, Friday morning or Friday before noon, uh, tracking insurance. And I just want to make sure that, you know, it gets there safely Monday and then that's done. And then we move on. I, I do want to become a bigger channel because I do feel like my voice is unique and I will never beg you for money. Um, I'm not going to beg you uh, to donate. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to say I lost my job. Even if I lost my job, that's on me to find a new job. But if I lost my job, I would have, you know, I, I can't even afford to lose my job. Not because like I'm not financially stable. I personally am. No student loans, no debt, high income, high earnings, big home, small mortgage. But my workers would suffer a lot, and that is why I work so hard. I work um, long hours, not really for, to make more money, because it's at some point the difference between X and Y is not very much, especially when you're at work all the time. But uh, so my employees can afford daycare they can afford ballet class they can afford basketball class for their kids i'm not talking about for them because that would be ridiculous right but anyway bye guys